The parks in Humboldt and Del Norte counties constitute the vast majority of protected old growth redwoods. The largest tract is the Humboldt Redwoods State Park, which may be better known to some as the Avenue of the Giants. This avenue comprises over 53,000 acres skirting on the banks of the South Fork of the Eel River. Humboldt Redwoods has over 120 dedicated groves and loop trails, which are well described in the trail guides available at the park headquarters office, located between Myers Flat and Weot. Trail guides can also be picked up at the roadside information posts upon entering the park. The Old State Highway winds for 32 miles through this park, which makes much of it easily accessible. Humboldt Redwoods is such a large park, though, that most of it is never trod by humans. The far majority of visitors to this park seldom venture beyond the roadside groves. The most visited grove in Humboldt Redwoods is the Founders Grove, located at the Forks of the Eel. This is the site of the once famous Founders Tree, and at 364 feet it held the title of the tallest tree in the world. Well. That was before its top was blown out by lightning in 1964. Within Founders Grove, you'll find the large wind-fallen Dyerville Giant. For sure, this tree was the pride of Humboldt Redwoods before it fell in March of 1991. It was 17 feet in diameter and towered over 370 feet tall. Even laying on the ground, this tree is still very impressive. Of the smaller groves in Humboldt Redwoods, I highly recommend seeing the Bowling Grove. While only a few acres in size, the trees within it are all large specimens, and so it makes for great photo opportunities. This was the first memorial grove in Humboldt Redwoods, dedicated in 1921. The old highway runs through the middle of Bowling Grove at Elk Creek Crossing, between the towns of Miranda and Myers Flat. A few miles upriver is the F.K. Lane Grove. When the Dyerville Giant took its fall in the storm of 91, a number of big trees fell in this grove at the same time. Hiking through the groves and stumbling upon these huge wrecks has always stirred my imagination, and I like to stand back and look at these things from different angles and think about the series of events that occurred. Like dominoes, you can always trace it back to the tree that started it all. And need I say, this wouldn't be a good place to be when it all started happening. Adjoining Humboldt Redwoods is the Rockefeller Forest, and it's another 10,000 acres of exquisite old growth redwoods. This grove begins at the confluence of Bull Creek and the South Fork of the Eel. To get there, Go to the Founders Grove and cross the river on the old highway. Then head east on the Honeydew Cutoff and follow the signs to Bull Creek. The road is narrow and winds along Bull Creek for seven miles. There's plenty of pullouts along the way where a person could park their car and hike through the many dedicated groves. It came as a real surprise to find this big tree laying down split clean in half for almost 200 feet, and then having laid over two other massive trees. Like so many other windfalls in this forest, I recall when this tree was firmly rooted and standing tall and straight. The ruins and splinters of this wreck is one of the more impressive I've ever seen, and every winter's storm brings on a few more in this park. I like to make it a point to walk through the groves in the spring just to see all the latest devastation. Nine miles north of Crescent City is Jedediah Smith Redwoods. And if you haven't seen enough full growth redwoods yet, then here's another 10,000 acres. The last wild river in California ends its journey to the Pacific Ocean here the Smith, which is world-renowned for its record King Salmon and Steelhead. The pride of this park is the Stout Redwood, 23 feet in diameter by 326 feet tall. 
This big redwood contains nearly 250,000 board feet. It's located at the confluence of Mill Creek, right across from the park campgrounds. During the summer months, the park provides a footbridge over to the grove. Or you can drive there by crossing the forks of the Smith and following the signs to Stout Grove. Once in Mill Creek, you can opt to continue on the Howland Hill Road that will take you over the mountain to Crescent City. The road will take you through a remote area where more big redwoods have recently been discovered. Redwoods even bigger than the Stout. And that just goes to show you there's still places and big trees here that have yet to be discovered.